Good day, and welcome to your first online woodworking lesson. Today we're going to be using this shop to build ourselves a two-plank Viking chair. Now, a Viking chair is something that is uh, quite an old design, but uh, I've modified it a little bit to suit our needs, and I've drawn a newer version on SketchUp, which I'm going to show you here in a few minutes. I'm going to use that project to take you through the different woodworking processes. First, we're going to start with a cut sheet, and then we're going to take that cut sheet and we're going to build the chair using the different pieces of equipment and tools in the shop. So I'm going to start by showing you the plan and then we're going to show you how to do a cut sheet. Okay, so here you have the two plank Viking chair. The reason they call it two plank Viking chair is because it has a board or a plank that runs through this way and it has a board or a plank that runs through this way. These planks I've drawn so that we laminate five pieces of wood together. So our primary wood here is either going to be oak or maple and then I'm going to have two strips of walnut here in between and all those are going to be glued or laminated together as thick boards and then we're going to run them through our planer to make them a little bit thinner. Try to keep this as thick as possible for strength purposes and we'll do the same with that second plank as well. Now this plank here actually fits through a little hole right here. So this can be taken apart quite easily. This slides together and uh, it can then can be moved around quite easily whether you're taking it fishing at the river or you're taking it to the beach. It's not a big chair. It's approximately 30 inches high by about 35 inches deep. So there you have it. Our next step is to make a cut sheet for this chair We'll take the dimensions and we'll draw out some uh, pieces of wood to see what we can, uh, can make up for a cut sheet. Okay, so here is your lesson on how to make a cut sheet, and more specifically a cut sheet for the Viking chair that I showed you previously on the SketchUp drawing that I did. So a cut sheet is mainly used for the purpose of saving lumber, and if you can save lumber, you can save money, and you can save trees as well, because you don't have to cut down as many. Now, to make a cut sheet, the first thing you need to do is have a technical drawing. So what I've done is I've just drawn a, draw, drawn a technical drawing on the whiteboard for you to take a look at, so I'll explain that. The Viking chair consists of two planks that are laminated together. So you have your seat right here, we'll write that on. And your backrest. The seat is 37 inches long by 12 inches wide and the backrest is 30 inches by 12 inches wide as well. And they're composed of two 3 inches, 3 inch pieces on the side and one 5 and a half inch piece down the middle. I'm going to be making these out of maple and the strips, the quarter inch strips, out of walnut. And it's the same for the backrest as well. Now I know from teaching for quite a while now that the boards that I get are generally around 4 to 10 inches wide and the lengths usually are around 70 to 100 inches long. So with that in mind I have to think how can I make this fit the boards that I have in stock. So when we take a look at this if I add all the maple together 3, 5 and a half and 3 I get 11 and a half inches and my boards generally don't go that wide and even if they did um, I'm gonna have to cut it anyways because I'm gonna be putting two strips of wood in here and sometimes it's not a bad idea to, to cut the wood and to flip the grain direction so that it uh, decreases warping in your in your planks that you're gluing together so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this five and a half inch piece and get that from one piece of wood and then the three inch and the three inch I'm going to take those and cut those from another piece of wood and I know that uh, back there there's probably some lumber that's six inches wide which would be perfect for the five and a half inch board because remember these are not finished boards they're rough boards I'm going to have to take and uh, joint them and then I'm going to have to rip the edges and, and uh, get them down to five and a half inches so I don't want to start with five and a half inches because they're rough boards now the 3 inch and the 3 inch, that's going to give me 
a uh, six inch board plus waist. Now minimum I want is six and a half inches because I'm gonna be taking that board and I'm going to be ripping it down the middle, but I'm first of all gonna joint the edges to, to make it smooth. So I, I need that extra waist. So six and a half minimum up to seven inch maximum. If I go any higher, I'm gonna have a lot of waste. And again, gonna cost some money and we're gonna kill some trees. So we don't wanna do that. So the next step in the cut sheet is actually to draw the boards. Now usually I would just sketch that, but I happen to have this beautiful little ruler here. So I'm gonna sketch my boards out. I'm gonna to have to go take a look at the boards before I sketch them out to see what I can find. So let's go do that now. Okay, so welcome to the wood storage area. Uh, what we're gonna do now is just take a look for some of the lumber that we can use for our Viking chair. Now, when you're selecting your wood, you have to make sure that you're gonna be kinda digging around in here. You wanna make sure that you keep everything nice and flat when you're done. So if you have to take something out of the bottom, Make sure you take it out and then rearrange the board kind of like the Tetris I was talking about before so that the boards are laying flat. Now what you're going to need, first of all, is a tape measure, which I didn't get. So just one second. Okay, three seconds. Tape measure. So you want to take and measure the different pieces of wood that we want. Now we have in mind that we need a board that's around six inches and another board that's around that six and a half to six and three quarter inches. So we just go and we just look through here and hopefully we find one at the top. This one's six and seven eighths. This one is five and three quarters, four inches. Oh, here's one, six and three quarters, six. Perfect, and they're on the top, of course. So I'm gonna take those and I have to take a look to make sure that they're any good. So we'll pull those out of there and make sure that they have no major defects because if they do, uh, we can work around most defects, but some we can't. Uh, we would have to change the, the cut sheet a little bit. Taking a look at those, those look mighty fine. Nice and solid, fairly straight, not too bad at all. So let's take these boards and uh, measure them out specifically and uh, take it back to the whiteboard to uh, complete our cut sheet. Okay, so this first board is six inches by 73 inches long. Remember that. And the next one is six and three quarters by 75 inches long. So we'll take those measurements to the whiteboard and continue on with our cut sheet. Okay, so we're back at the whiteboard with some dimensions. We found two boards, one that is six and three quarters by 75 inches long, and one that's six inches by 73 inches long. So the next step is to take and to draw those boards on the whiteboard. Now, I'm actually drawing this full scale because I can fit everything on the whiteboard, which is, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna take and draw using this 36 inch ruler. I'll draw our two boards. It really doesn't matter if it's that straight. This is usually just a sketch, so it's 72. And we're gonna add, let's do that first one there. We're gonna add another inch, 73 inches. And by six and three quarters. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just do that. 20. Six and three quarters. When you are designing your own projects in the future, especially when you get to grade 12, you're going to be doing a cut sheet, something similar to this for your project. That is part of project planning and management. So sometimes we do this right in the, in the CAD program as well. It just actually makes it a lot easier. Usually we don't use SketchUp for it. We'll use a, a, a design CAD program. That's 72, add three inches for 
175. Some of you are probably wondering why I'm teaching in Imperial. Well, the reason for that is basically we live in Canada and we uh, use both systems. So I will tend to teach in both metric and Imperial. Our biggest trading partner to the south, so far anyways, the United States uses Imperial and we are kind of forced to use Imperial because a lot of our lumber is sold in imperial measurement and a lot of the plans we have are in imperial measurement so that's just why it's good to know both units of measure imperial and metric so i just chose to to do imperial for this i don't know if you can see me in the camera i'm quite low down here but there you go you have the two boards so that first board was uh six inches by 73 inches I'll just quickly write that on there, nothing too fancy, 6 by 73. And that bottom board is 6 and 3 quarters by 75. There you go, 75, 73, 6, 6 and 3 quarters. Now, that is full scale. What I want to do now is plan where am I going to get my wood from which board. So this six inch board, like I said before, is great for my middle pieces. Five and a half inches, I've got that extra waste. So before I take and transfer these onto here, I'm going to provide you with some letters. Let's call this, let's label our boards. Let's call this A1, A2, and we'll call this B. We'll call this C1, C2, and let's call this D. Now here's an explanation of those letters. I labeled these A1 and A2 because they're identical in size, and there's two boards, one and two. There's only one B. B is different than D, although they're the same width, they're different lengths, so I labeled them with different letters. C1 and C2, they are the same size, so I just labeled them that way uh, because there's two boards, there's two C's. So now we're going to take and draw those on here. So that six inch piece was for my B and my D. So my B is 30 inches long, so I'm just going to roughly, actually it lines up pretty good, so I'm just going to put a mark right here, just like that, and that is going to be my B. And my D, I can get from that same board. So I've got 37 inches long. So let's just write that on here. How about let's just write it underneath. B was 30 inches. And C is 37 inches. And it'll cut off somewhere here. This doesn't have to be to scale. This gives us an example of uh, what we're doing. So 37 and 30 is 67 inches, and I had 73, so that leaves me with 6 inches. That's not too bad. Sometimes our board will have some checking in them and some defects at the end, so it just allows a little bit of, of waste. Plus, we use this stuff for making bowls on the lathe later anyways. The next one is a 6 and a 3 quarter inch board. I can use for my A's and my C's. So let's do that now. Now because it's going to be split down the middle, I'm just going to roughly sketch in a cut line, just like that. Nothing too fancy. A1 and A2, again, those are going to be in line with my B. A1, A2, and C1, and C2. And let's do a number check here. This was uh, 37, 67, and our total length for this board was 75. Okay, so what's that? 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 inches left over, just like that. I believe my math is correct. Let's put those numbers down here. So A1 and A2. Those are 30 inches, 
we'll just write that right there. We have some space and uh, C1 and C2 were 37 inches. You can see from the numbers above and that should all work out just fine. So that is it. That is our cut sheet. Now it's a pretty simple cut sheet because it's a pretty simple a project. I'm not going to worry about doing a cut sheet for the walnut strips right now. Sometimes I just can grab those out of the scrap wood bin, but basically it's the same thing. If I had a class of students, I would probably take one board out like this and then we would do a cut sheet for the whole class. Because they're only quarter inch, I'd probably get a whole class worth out of a board out of a board here, one or two boards would be uh, enough to do uh, quite a few students. So there you have it. Cut sheet, Viking chair, 101. I hope you enjoyed. Let's get started.